Hello guys and welcome to your 36 Java tutorial in which we are going to be going over enumerations but not just the enumerations we've went over in the previous tutorial we're actually going to extend on those uh, and we're going to specifically extend on those using a class that I shall import right now from the uh, java.util library and that class's name will be enumset there we go now that we've imported it we can actually start using it but before that uh, we're going to separate our previous code uh, that we wrote in the last tutorial simply by putting a line of code uh, system.out.println with two new lines uh, and yes actually one new line that'll be enough and that's by the way the escape sequence if you guys remember uh, and now that we've actually separated uh, the previous code we can start uh, with a for loop by creating a for loop uh, it's gonna have a fruit f element it's gonna loop through an array that is so far uh, undefined but it will be defined by the enum set class using uh, two of its methods that we're going to go over in this tutorial and one of them is going to be of and of can take an unlimited number of arguments and what it actually does is uh, create an array out of all of the arguments that we uh, include in here and those arguments are enumeration constants so constants like fruit.apple and uh, fruit.banana and hey you know that it just takes these two constants and I just smack some in into an array, and uh, <laughs> and it, this fruit f variable just uh, keeps navigating through that array every time this fruit loops until on um, this for loop loops until it reaches the end of that array, and uh, and yes, then it just terminates. So let's just go ahead and copy this uh, line of code that we had from the previous tutorial, and uh, run this program. Uh, so it should loop through that array of two elements of an apple and a banana and as we can see here after the code from our last tutorial we have this new code and it says I'm an apple and my color is green and also I'm a banana and my color is yellow uh, so yes there we go that is a very nice simple and easy definition uh, or you know explanation of the of method and once again it can take an unlimited number of arguments we can add up a pi essay to this uh, array and once again we're getting no errors whatsoever and once again this is because there's a variable um, th because of variable length arguments that we went over not too long ago so now we can actually see these in action uh, right here so uh, let that being said uh, let's move on to the next method that I wanted to go over in this tutorial uh, it's the enumset.range method and this range method takes two constants two enumeration constants and uh, it pretty much uh, takes the first one all the elements in and the first and the last um, well, all right let me explain for right now once I type this code because I can't get my head off that uh, so let's just type fruit.apple and fruit.pair so all it does is it goes to this first constant fruit.apple and it marks the, the the second constant that we defined which is the fruit.pair uh, uh, constant and it just takes everything in between them as well as the constants themselves and then puts them into an array so this would return the apple banana and pear uh, constants and if we run this program we should get uh, three very nice messages uh, one for the apple another for the banana and the other for the pear alright now that we see that that has successfully worked uh, let's go ahead and try another range uh, let's see uh, what it was another range fruit dot I don't know uh, banana and it goes up to fruit dot papaya there we go and all this does once again starts at fruit dot banana goes to fruit dot papaya and returns all of the elements uh, in between as well as the two we specified and let's run the program hit OK and bam what do you get you get some nice messages in your console window get uh, I am a banana and my color is yellow I'm a pear and my color is brown I'm a papaya and my color is orange alright so uh, yeah those are pretty much two methods that are very useful and handy uh, I find when working with enumerations and you should definitely know how to use them uh, when uh, if you if or when you will be using enumerations alright and uh, one one second before I actually end the video I think might some of you might have noticed that I, we don't actually need to create an instance of this enum set class to use the range method or the of method for that matter uh, and that is because range and of are methods that belong to the enum set class and they're static methods meaning that we do not actually have to have an instance of enum set to use them now I know we haven't went over static methods yet or um, yes but you know that is just um, uh, kind of alluding to the next tutorial that we will have uh, yes 
Don't worry, everything will become clear soon, and I am signing out for this tutorial, guys. Thank you once again for watching, and peace.